20 positions. When you get this thing loaded with magnets, do not get your finger right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, oh, you, yeah. could, you could yeah. cut off a part of your fingers. <laughs> it, it'll really. Yeah. And so, and what, what, what do you do? You trim it to the right operating point? Is that the, that's what this crank is for? So you get this static part at the exact point? Or is it supposed to rock back and forth? Well, what this is to do is to, it, the idea is that you come in, you're Sorry, increasing you your, rather, rather than clamshelling it. Yeah. You just come in right, to the side. So yeah. on, Get it later. And so it's one thing that's oscillating back and forth. I don't even know. No, no. What's, this is no, no, no. There are several people who claim to have a working um, oh, well, I, I, I know probably, I, I've had probably five people tell me of a definitive working magnet motor. That, that is like going to market or, you know, that work or the inventory. You melt it down or get something. <laughs> That's it. In some of the cases, I, I don't. I haven't been able to ask them. I don't think about it. For example, there he is. They're getting out the sum of all the energy used to create the magnet. Showing it's been running and they say that they're kind of really like it. That's what's happening. This is the type of two I see. Yeah, that's on our magnet motor index. It's the first one of it. This won't keep running though, will it? Gives it the kick to make it go forward, and the other winding, as the magnet comes in, gives it a pump to charge the battery. And the transistor just tells this guy when to when to fire, keep it firing. And then by adjusting the gap here, by adjusting the resistance here, you can make it go faster, slower. So which is your adjuster, this one? This is a 10K, 5K, and 25 ohms. And so this is my fine tune. 
Can I just hardwire some um, resistors in here? This is just a red one, so you can switch whatever you want to get yeah. whatever resistance you want. So I can I can you know go plus or minus 100 up with this guy. This will go up to like 20,000 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so this lets me hone in on a particular. Yeah. Well, Sterling, yeah. can I ask you what the principle behind the Bedini motor is? Well, the idea, the holy grail, is that you want to be replicating Tesla's um, radiant energy effect, so that you're getting, um, with, with the, in his case, he's using a, a spark discharge, and by, by hitting that um, that spark gap, and you get a, a DC pulse going forward, you get this longitudinal um, radiant energy coming into the system so that you get more energy coming out at the end of the day than what you put into it at the beginning. So it's kind of a practical implementation of kind of an over energy principle. Right? That's, that's what you're seeking for. I, I have not been able to achieve that with this design. And we built this design with the idea that we were going to be able to build a really super simple device that people could prove that anyone could build. I could build it. My mother-in-law built it. Um, she, she got one running shortly after. She was the second one to get one running. Mm -hmm. But bottom of the line is this design doesn't work that way. It spins, but it's about 53% efficient. So the, the Bedini motor, in this case, is about 53% efficient and not over unit. That's what I measured um, really accurately. Um, after three months of focused effort on this project. And Absolutely. Tons of data, lots of different configurations. The wheel originally was larger, um, and the coil was half that size, a uh, smaller gauge. Our wires were longer and thinner. Um, we, I, I tried tractor batteries. I tried, um, we, we had them in parallel, two six volts in parallel, two in series. We had um, like four on the back end, one on the front end, three on the back end, two on the front end, rotating them through. And one day, four days consecutive, we had this thing, the, the, um, the battery capacity went up for four days consecutive. We thought we had it. And it ended up, it was an artifact of, of a long-term effect. And it, it, there was not more energy coming out of the system than we did. But there are some other people who have taken a variation of this and are claiming to get over here. Well, stuff still is definitely From a wonderful this project. We started this project, people got going on the project, they made some variations, and they supposedly have gotten some stuff to work. It's still a, a wonderful replication. You've done a good job on this. It looks great. Thank you. That it's all from the junkyard. This is from the junkyard. Of course, this is Radio Shack, the hardware. But there's about $100 worth of hardware here. Is this a beanie? Uh-huh. Yeah.